So for um, number four, we want to take the area bounded between these curves. Um, I've drawn the, them in. That's a curve y is equal to um, x cubed here, and then y is equal to zero. Um, x is equal to one, which is this vertical line, and x is equal to two, um, that other vertical line. And so we want to take this area and we want to rotate it about the y-axis. Now, when we rotate it, it's like we're taking this height that touches this curve, x cubed, all the way out to the x-axis, and then we are rotating about the y-axis. So when we rotate it, we end up with this um, cylinder. It is a hollow cylinder, so maybe I'm going to draw it like this. And the cylinder, it's, um, think about taking a sheet, right? A sheet and then wrapping it around the y-axis. So this is actually an area. Um, and so we're going to take different points here. Maybe we go up here and then we rotate it like so. And so the sum of all these um, cylinders is going to give us a volume, right? So the volume is the the sum of, it goes from x is equal to 1, where it's this first boundary here, all the way out to x is equal to 2, from 1 to 2, of ax dx. And now this ax just means that um, we're summing up these areas that are functions of x. So the further that we go along the x-axis, the bigger that our cylinder gets, right? So we have to be able to um, express it in terms of x. So let's think about how this this area looks like, right? Well, um, the base of it is just, this base right here, is just the circumference. Um, it is the circumference of our cylinder, because when we wrap it open, it's like the base of our sheet. Um, and now, the circumference of any circle is given by 2 pi radius, right? Um, and as we can see here, the radius just goes from 0 all the way out to wherever it touches the x-axis. Um, so it goes from 0 to x, right? That's our radius. So if I'm further along the x-axis, my radius is going to be bigger. Um, if I'm closer to the origin, my radius is going to be smaller. So it's just the value of x. Therefore, this base is 2 pi x. Oops. Um, this base is 2 pi x. And the height of my area, well, the height is just wherever it touches this curve, this pink one, right? That is my height. Um, the curve y is equal to x cubed. Wherever it touches, it's going to be the distance between this curve all the way out to my x-axis. So that's very easy for us. It's just the height of the function. So it's just x cubed. Um, and so my area is just 2 pi times wherever I'm at, x, times the height, which is x cubed. Therefore, my area here is given by 2 pi x times x cubed, which is equal to 2 pi times x to the power of 4. So now that we have this, um, we are ready to integrate. So this is equal to the integral from 1 to 2, the sum of all these um, rectangles or areas. 2 pi is a constant. I'm going to put it outside. And then we're just integrating x to the power of 4 times dx. So this is fairly easy. This is just 2 pi times x to the power of 5 over 5 evaluated from 1 to 2, which is equal to 2 pi times, let's see, 2 to the power of 5 is 32 fifths minus um, 1 fifth, right? So this gives us 2 pi times 32 minus 1 over 5 is 31 fifths, which gives us um, 32 times 2 is 62 pi over 5. That is the volume that we get when we um, rotate this area about the y-axis. Let me just write that a little bit better. So that's 62 pi over 5. Yep, we are done.